The first stage of production is pattern cutting, which enables a shoe to be produced from its original design. The pattern is prepared for the last, the wooden form around which the shoes are constructed and gives them their shape and fitting. New designs are prototyped, tested and adjusted for fit several times before the bulk production can begin. The next stage is clicking. Clickers are highly skilled operatives who cut the leather for the uppers and linings. The term clicking gets its name from the noise made by the clicker's knife as it is removed from the leather. With their expert knowledge, each clicker examines the leather for defects before deciding which part of the skins to use. Next, the cut sections of leather are assembled and stitched together in the closing room to create the shoe upper. Several processes take place in this department each requiring excellent hand-eye coordination by skilled machinists. Operations such as royal punching, gimping, side stitching and hand sewing are just some of the many involved. In the preparation department, the bottom part of the shoes are prepared for production. Soles and heels are cut from the finest quality leather bends. A material rib is attached to the insole, onto which the welt will eventually be stitched. The leather insoles are then tacked onto the lasts. Next, the lasting department, where the shoe begins to take its shape. The upper is tacked onto the last. And pulled over the toe by the four part lasting machine. Before being side lasted by hand. It is crucial for the upper to be aligned correctly on the last at this stage. After the shoe has been fully lasted, the welt is skillfully stitched through the side of the upper to the rib of the insole. The cavity underneath is then filled with cork to provide insulation and comfort in wear. Soles can now be attached, rough trimmed, and stitched through to the welt to complete the Goodyear welted construction. This construction is renowned for its strength and durability and allows for worn soles to be removed and replaced with new ones without affecting the leather uppers. After the soles are attached, the process of bottom leveling rounds the soles to the shape of the last. In the finishing room, the heels are attached before being trimmed and scoured with several grades of emery paper to create the shape and give a smooth finish. Next, the soles are edge trimmed to the specific shape of the last in a highly skilled freehand process. The soles and heels are stained. And the edges coated in hot wax to aid waterproofing and to seal the leather. They are also given a number of decorative finishes, such as wheeling, crowing, and top ironing before a final polishing.
Before they leave the factory, the shoes are hand polished to receive their characteristic antique or burnished look. The lasts are removed. The soles are stamped with the Crockett and Jones brand and in socks are fitted. Finally, the shoes undergo a scrutinized check before being laced, boxed, and dispatched. The passion, care, and detail that goes into every pair of Crockett and Jones shoes gives them the hallmark of quality an ethos that began over 130 years ago and has become synonymous with the brand. Today, the company exports around 70% of the production to the finest shoe shops and clothing stores worldwide. Crockett and Jones opened their first retail shop in German Street, London in 1997 and have since added further shops in London and Birmingham in the UK. Overseas, they now have shops in Paris, New York and Brussels showcasing an extensive Crockett and Jones collection.